What is going on guys? Kill McKillcam here with another episode of Fallout 4 and what I have for you guys today is going to be a few things. I'm going to show you guys how to get the Benevolent Leader Trophy slash Achievement. I'm going to show you guys how to do the Bottle Cap Glitch and last but not least I'm going to show you guys how to get the Vault Tech Rep Guy to your settlement. Um, now who's the Vault Tech Rep? Well if you remember in the beginning of the game he came and knocked on your door and told you that you had a space in vault 11 well he's back and not only is he back but once you find him you can send him to your settlement um, my settlement is the sanctuary I sent them here and not only can you send him to your settlement but you can also get him to work at one of your uh, trading posts uh, but the only one that he will work at is the trading emporium and I'll show you guys that here in a minute um, so basically what you need to get the benevolent leader trophy is you're gonna need uh, 20 20 people at least and you know a settlement will start where it's maxed out at 10 people and then you can recruit one member for every point of charisma that you have so there's a total of 10 charisma stars that you can get in your perks so 10 plus 10 is the 20 that you'll need and then you'll need 20 waters 20 foods and 20 beds and all the beds have to be on the inside so there here's all my water here and um, I got a bunch of them I just put them out of the way back here and then um, there's a settler in Coswell and then back here these are the the plants that you're gonna want to put those uh, mutt fruit plants because it produces one piece of food for every plant where everything else only produces a half and then what I did is I assigned all the original people um, to the food just so that you know who's who because all the settlers look the same pretty much um, so basically back here is I just set up I think there's like a total of 23 or 25 um, trading posts now I don't have enough people to assign to every single one of them but what you can do is you see all these people all, all these people all these trading posts back here that are green but don't have any people manning them you can assign Cod's Wealth on um, that little robot flying around you can uh, assign him to all the empty spots and it will it'll turn green and it won't produce anything but it will count towards your trophy now you see I'm at um, 26 or 86 but there's a green arrow um, that's going up and that's going to go up to 100 um, now you see I took that settler and I'm going to assign him to a trading post that's red so basically anytime that you find a trading post that's red you're going to either want to find a settler and assign it just like I did now by pressing X now you see it turned from red to green um, and then if you don't have enough sellers like I said you can use that robot um, so now all these are green and I got 10 here in this little building I got 10 in the other building and I have five outside um, and that it will be enough now the ones that you're gonna wanna build are gonna be the trading stores the trading stand or the trading shops or the trading emporiums or the clinics um, all the rest of them they don't make the settlement happy it will produce income uh, based on the total population but it doesn't uh, it doesn't those other ones like the armors and the weapons and the clothing stores the food and drinks those don't uh, make the settlement happier um, the ones that make them happier are the trading stores um, and the clinics so you got the trading stand the trading shop and the trading emporium um, the trading stand will cost you 300 bottle caps the trading shop will cost you 600 bottle cap and the trading emporium will cost you 1500 now obviously the bigger ones will make the settlement happier um, and then you have the clinics same thing the first aid station um, will cost you 600 bottle caps the clinic will cost you 1200 bottle caps and the surgery center uh, which I have three three of um, <clears throat> cost 1800 bottle caps and then the the trading emporium is the only one that you can get the the vault tech rep um, assigned to he won't be assigned to any any of these other ones he won't he just won't go to them um, now there's other um, like special what are they called uh, special merchants that you can get to join your settlement you basically just have to find them look there's the vault tech um, rep 
and I'm going to show you where to find them. First thing that you're going to want to do is go to Good Neighbor. Look, and there's Piper. I got her wearing some different clothes. Um, you saw in the video, beginning of the video, she was in the bed that I was sleeping in. Um, I reached the relationship status with her, which gives you uh, a trophy. I forget the name of the trophy. Uh, if you guys want to know how to do that, basically you just have to um, say things in dialogue during the game that she's going to like. If she dislikes it, then it will take you longer. So here he is, man. Um, good neighbor inside the hotel. You just go upstairs. He comes out and he talks to you. Um, and then he's going to he's going to recognize you. Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Are you? Look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How's that possible? Your guess is as good as mine. No. No. It's not right. It's not fair. You know what I've been through these past 200 years? Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Hey. You're going to come visit, right? Okay, so now once you do that, you'll come back to the sanctuary and you'll find him either sit next to Mama, whatever her name is, or you'll see her, see him working on something. But he'll be in this general location. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want up and talk to him and you're going to offer him a job. Now, it's going to ask you to send them somewhere other than sanctuary farms go ahead and select one of the select one of the settlements i selected the castle because i'm familiar with where it's at in the area and i'd be able to find them easily there if i went there to look for them but he doesn't leave um so just you know assign them to a settlement and after that um he'll stand up and then um and then you can assign him to a uh trading emporium uh but you're not going to want to try to uh, assign him to a job before you have this conversation. You go up and you talk to him, and if you break the conversation um, and you build the Emporium, you won't be able to assign him to anything. Um, so you have to let him finish talking, and then you have to send him to a settlement. And then after that conversation dialogue is over, then you can go and build your trading Emporium and assign him to that Emporium. Now what you're going to see next is I don't have enough bottle caps for the Emporium. The Emporium is, like I said, was it 1,800 or 1,200 bottle caps? No, 1,500 bottle caps. And I'm like 300 short or some shit like that. So you can see that I don't have enough. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to one of my vendors and I'm going to do the bottle cap glitch. Now, most of you guys are probably already familiar with the body bottle cap glitch. And if you're not, this is how you do it. You go to a settler um, or into a merchant, any merchant in the Commonwealth will work. And then pick the option to barter. They're going to open up their menu or whatever it, went, whatever it is. Now you see I'm going to buy all those 38 rounds. And then I'm going to go back to my inventory. And then I'm going to sell all but one. And then I'm going to sell all of them. 
see all 12 but that one that I sold the first time stays in my inventory and you can just keep reselling it over and over and over and over again until what I'm gonna do until I get up to 289 because not only um, can you do this and buy whatever you want um, but you can also take all of their caps um, which I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use those caps to build the trading emporium and then after I build the trading emporium then I'm gonna go back find uh, Mr. Vault Tech rep and assign him to the um, emporium trading emporium um, so when you recruit uh, these special merchants to join a settlement you know and you sign them to an appropriate store um, you'll have access to some rare and unique items basically they'll have stuff that these other settlers won't be selling um, you know and I don't know uh, exactly what they have I haven't had this guy on my settlement long enough to notice a huge difference I noticed that he usually has about twice as many bottle caps as everybody else and uh, he has a longer list of junk now there was like one or two things in his inventory that I saw that had a star next to it which is basically one of those rare items that you find out in the Commonwealth um, but other vendors that you can get and talk them into joining your settlement is going to be uh, the scribe and you have to have a minimum of 10 for him to join and you meet her, him during random uh, an encounter and he's a wor workshop armor vendor uh, and then you got Doc Anderson he's that one Italian doctor that you see he's also a random encounter then you have uh, Ann Hardgraves there's no minimum population for her uh, but you can only find her in vault 81 and then you got Ron Staples he has a minimum population requirement of 20 and again random encounter um, or in time to party which is a quest and then this guy here you I found him in good neighbor he doesn't have a po po minimum population um, requirement and then you have Riley um, you meet during random encounter or uh, Riley the trader or and then got hot Holmes again vault 81 and then smiley smiling Larry he has a minimum population of 30 and you meet during random encounter uh, and he's a smiling Larry uh, merchant so there it is guys. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.